saying here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow 11th of march 2023 this is tomorrow's news today. We begin with election matters. Tinubu's victory stands. Presidency replies PDP, Labour Party and others. Beaver's inspection. Labour Party accuses INEC of bad faith. Supreme Court sacks ex-governor Shirakawa, senator-elect. Produce evidence of your claims. Aqua Ibom PDP challenges YPP. INEC rejects Labour Party's request to witness Beaver's reconfiguration. New Nigeria will rise from Lagos, says Bade Boro's rival. To other national news, Lagos train crash. 19 victims have been discharged, says Commissioner. Three 40 feet containers fall in Lagos State. Cash scarcity bites harder as consumers and traders groan. Election postponements may delay 2023 consensus, says NPC. Unilag and other universities extend resumption to March 21st. Anna Bracott jails orphanage owner for conspiracy and stealing children. Obaseki approves training for 10,000 civil servants. In business, AFDP issues $2 billion five-year global benchmark bond. Court bars Seplat CEO from management. Crude oil sales rise by 46% to 21 trillion naira, says the NBS. In international news, eight dead as German police probe Jehovah Witness Center shooting. Malaysia's ex-Prime Minister charged with corruption. In technology news, Belgian government bans TikTok on official phones. And lastly, in sports, Barcelona charged with corruption over payments. I was with a Brazilian beauty the day we defeated Brazil at the Olympics, says Emmanuel Babayaro. Get details of this news and more on our website tomorrow at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspapers from your closest newsstands. Do not forget to follow us on social media as Guardian Nigeria across our social media pages. I am Lois Oguni. Good night.